I'm Sharon Betters, and this is the Daily Treasure Podcast, and we are continuing in our series, Treasures Along the Way. And in this series, there isn't one theme. These are blog posts that I found that I had written a number of years ago that just are reminders to me of God's faithful love. And I'm encouraging you to start a gratitude journal. If you've never journaled before, just start jotting down things that will remind you of precious moments that in the moment you don't think you will ever forget, but one day you'll look back at your journal and you'll remember that precious time when the Lord met a need in your life where a friend stepped in and encouraged you in a way that helped turn your heart toward Jesus. And so these are some of the monuments that I have left as messages of God's faithfulness. And I didn't even remember them until I found them tucked away in my files. So today's devotional is called Sleepless and Bear, and today's treasure is from Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. I couldn't sleep at all last Saturday night. Sleeplessness for me is unusual. After tossing and turning, I finally gave up and tried the ultimate sleeping pill, prayer. Saturday night and into early Sunday morning, I again listed for my God, who knows everything, all the circumstances in our lives, as well as those in the lives of people we love. I reminded God that He is my covenant God. He has promised to hear me, and if I need wisdom, He will give it to me, just ask. I told Him how much I love the people who are on my heart and asked Him to burden my heart with others who might not be sleeping either because of great sorrow, excruciating decisions, chronic pain, or broken relationships. Things that I wouldn't know. Secrets known only to him. I fell asleep with one particular family on my mind as I asked God to give them a sense of his presence while they struggled to make sense of their own life difficulties. Before going to church, I sent a quick email to my friend telling her God kept me awake with her needs on my heart and I had asked him to give her strength beyond herself as she faced the day. Sunday night, I read a response. And why was I shocked to learn that almost the same time in the middle of the night that God burdened me with her name, she was facing yet another crisis? My momentary shock gave way to feeling humbled that God would give me the privilege of staying awake through the night to pray for a dear sister who could not pray for herself in those moments. Friends, I am overcome with a deep appreciation for God's love for my friend and that he connected me to her through prayer. Hearing God had moved me to pray at that exact moment reminded her she is his child. He is the Lord her God and he calls her by name. I'm so humbled by God using me as a channel of his compassion. Are you sleepless in your hometown? Can you surrender to the sleeplessness as a gift from God so you can pray for those he loves? When he burdens you with a specific person, will you let them know God is loving them through your prayers? Consistent, fervent prayer is the greatest treasure of encouragement we have to offer. I need to remember to offer this gift more often. I'd love to hear your story of how God reminded you of his love for you through the prayers of someone else or your story of how God used you as an instrument of his love by giving you the privilege of praying for your friend. Prayer, the greatest treasure of encouragement. Friends, thanks so much for joining us as we are remembering those treasures along the way. And I hope that my memories are going to jog some memories in your own heart and in your own journey. And I hope that you'll jot them down. I think it's so important for us to remember by writing down notes about those treasures, even if it's just one word and a date. It might be enough to jog your memory five years from now when you are struggling and you find that journal and you look back and you think, wow, I I can trust him. He was faithful then, he's being faithful now. We also want to ask you to consider helping us underwrite the cost of giving you this daily treasure devotional free. For your gift of any size, we are going to donate a copy of my book, Treasures in Darkness, to a local funeral home. We're very excited about this project. We are distributing the help and hope of Jesus to those who go into the darkest places with brokenhearted people, and that's in the funeral home. 
So when you give, you'll be giving twice. You'll be giving to help us produce these resources and also to touch the heart of a grieving person with the book, Treasures in Darkness. Go to helpandhopenow.org. That's helpandhopenow.org where you can give. And for your gift of any size, we are going to donate a copy of Treasures in Darkness. I'm Sharon Batters. Thanks so much for joining us. And I look forward to being with you tomorrow. And I pray that wherever you are, whatever pathway you're on, you'll be intentional about offering to others the help and hope of Jesus.